If you have not seen the ending of this Ball State Western Mission game, go watch it somewhere else first in full speed, uncut, because what I'm doing is slowing it down, taking a look at what really went down, pausing and stopping, and it deserves to be watched full speed once. It all starts with the kicker, Knight, number 34 for Ball State. Walks up to the spot. There's 32 seconds left, and he can be a hero, and he's been a zero previously in this game he missed the extra point there he missed the extra point here so he's sitting on two misses and now he's standing over the ball ready to win the game with 30 seconds left and bam splits the uprights gives ball state the lead everyone's celebrating you know just must be a, a a liked guy on the team because no one cares they're celebrating like he's rudy or something like that now Western Michigan got to make a play, and they're starting to get creative even here. This is the play before the play to number seven. He gets some ground. Now they got to hustle up. They got to hustle up. There's like eight seconds left. They got to spike it and then collect themselves. All right. Now here is the play. But first, how crazy is it that they're trying to tell me that this guy is 10 years younger than me? Like this kid is in college. That's bullshit. I don't buy it for one second. So here we go. Six seconds left. Number five, the quarterback tosses the number 24. That's one change of possession. Tosses it back. That's three changes of possession. Back to number five. Now number five is going to get laid out. That's not fun for him, but number 24 has it again. He's going to come up, and he's looking. He throws it across to the big man, number 61. His legs tangled up. He gives it right back to the quarterback who just got decked. He gives it to number 83. We're at eight changes of possession right here. He throws it back to number three, who gives it back to number five. Third time he's touched it. He goes back to number 11. 11's going to try and come up the wing, puts on the brakes, throws that kid to the ground, goes back to number three again. 12 changes of hands. Now 14 changes of hands. Now 15. Oh no. Number five missed it, but look at the hustle on the big dude, number 60, to make sure that ball stays loose. Number three is dejected. He thinks the game's over. And you know who else thinks the game is over? The entire Ball State team as they charge the field, and that dude does a backflip. And now number five has it, and he gets decked again and his helmet comes off and this is crazy because people that were playing have stopped playing people that are on the field are trying to run off the field everyone's like what's going on like number 83 could be tackled really easily here but he keeps running through good for him they're like half ass playing like refs are gonna blow the whistle this coach knows that the the play is still going He runs onto the field to let them know, go, 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 go. It's like, but by you running on the field, you may stop the play. Doesn't matter. 16 changes of hands and number 24 takes it and they rule this a touchdown. They say, good job. Good job. Touchdown. And everyone celebrates and they're like, what? And Western Michigan has the lead by three. Mayhem, utter mayhem crazy now the ball state coach goes to ref and like dude come on like there's got to be something Ref's like hmm, hmm, hmm you know what let me go ask my friends see what they say come here guys you guys notice anything that is that legal could it not be legal you got what's the calls and this guy's like well you know i think that one pass back there is kind of bullshit anyway so let's take a look at this pass number 24 is throwing it and you could see by the science here that there's four balls and <laughs> four balls get you to the the line and he throws it across field to number three and when he catches it per the science only three balls get you to the line so that's a forward pass and the refs all agree on it and that means that you know ball state wins western michigan loses now if that pass wasn't one ball forward per the science western michigan would have won the game the only other flags were for a ball state team coming onto the field to play when they weren't so it's a real bummer that that pass was a forward pass because I really, it'd be much more fun if Western Michigan won on that play, but we're all kind of blessed in a way just because it happened and fun sports plays are fun for everyone. Enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you. This one's brought to you by talking giants. First place G men. We got a podcast, a YouTube series. They crush it. If you're a giants fan, if you're a team that's playing the giants, check it out, gain some insight, gain some knowledge, have some fun with it. Talking giants.